Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly forecast for May 16th to the 22nd. This is for Aries Sun and Rising and I do have to apologize. You, you noticed uh, I didn't have a reading last week. That's because I had to go out of town unexpectedly. And so uh, if you do read my monthly uh, forecast, you know that at the end of each forecast, I do a, a reading for each week. So you can go back and see what was going on for you last week. Again, I apologize for that. Uh, but I am here now back in my Brooklyn apartment to give you your reading for May 16th to the, to the 22nd. Now, while this will be a general reading for Aries, Sun, and Rising, uh, you know I get as specific as I can. I use tarot, obviously, astrology, and my guides to lead your reading. Now, what an active month, Aries. Listen, last week, Jupiter went into your sign. Okay, Mercury also went retrograde. But listen, I'm going to focus on one thing astrologically for this week, and that's it. Because not only did Venus go into your sign on May 2nd, Jupiter went into your sign last week, May 10th. Uh, Mars is going into your sign after May 22nd. That's going to be um, on May 24th. But listen, that's a lot of activity in your sign. So the theme of this week, go for it. Don't hold back. Be bold and daring, okay? That is the only takeaway for you this week. All right, Aries. Now, let's go ahead and get started for your reading. May 16th to May 22nd. Here we go. Now, I use the traditional Celtic cross spread. It gives a full picture of what my clients prefer. If you want to book a reading, you know where to find me. Secondly... Uh, what is the second week? Oh, if you're here for this, if you're here for the first time, it would be great if you like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps my channel out and it helps me grow. So I would be very appreciative. Now, here we go. Also, you may notice I have a different setup here. I'm actually using my computer and I have a mic. So uh, hopefully that helps out a little bit more. Um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All right. Now, Aries. This is pretty, this is pretty crazy here, okay? I like what I see, okay? Um, first, you did get the five of pentacles, okay? Now, what this really means, this showed up in your past, is like, it looks like things were a little crazy for you. I'm not gonna lie. April, well, this is what I've been telling a lot of my readers, a lot of my clients, but also particularly for you, Aries. I tell them 2022, didn't really start till March. January and February were still part of 2021. It had that energy, had that vibe. It was really slow. There were a lot of retrograde planets. And, you know, with the readings, things were just kind of like, blah, blah, blah. All right? Things picked up for you, Aries, particularly in April. And it went, you hit the ground running. It was like a rocket ship. Now, listen, it looks like Whew. You may have been burnt out. You may have gotten a little exhausted. It looks like uh, things went so fast for you is the energy that I'm getting that you needed to slow down a little bit. And that's fine. Listen, if you needed help, that's good. All right. Sometimes we can't climb the mountain alone. All right. We need a little help. We need a little guidance. You know, whether it's a phone call to our mom. All right. Whether it's like hanging out with friends, whether it's, you know, just telling your boss, listen, I got too much going on. Listen, it's good. Take that breather you need because there is, I, like I said, Venus is an Aries is crazy, all right? But then also Jupiter going into your sign. You are going to, you're entering this really crazy new life cycle, all right? So this is really just saying there is help out there for you if you need it. And for some Aries who have felt a little burnt out, and I know that, you know, last week was wild for you, Aries. Last week was wild, all right? So take that time, all right? This is, you can see the two people here, they're so focused on their plight, they don't even recognize that they're outside of church. All they have to do is look up. So let's look up, Aries. The good news is that you did get the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Love it, all right? A lot of Aries, sun and rising. You may have gotten a new job. You may have started a new job. You may have gotten a new role. You may be starting a new job. There is a lot happening with career. It's, you know, keep your eyes on the prize, all right? And that's making money, all right? This is a big year for you, Aries. This is one of the biggest years you'll have in the past 12 years. And I don't say that just because Jupiter went into uh, your sign. I say that because there's a lot of other planetary activity happening. Again, Venus went into your sign. Mars is going into your sign. But then remember back in 2018, okay? 
Uranus went into Taurus, which is your second house of money. You are going to see a lot more money, all right? But listen, I want you to really manifest that, okay? Just this financial success, financial growth, that is the that is the theme of the week. Remember what I said from the very beginning. No holding back, go for it, okay? Aries, you don't have a problem with that, all right? You are so super focused, so charged, so ready to go, ready to go so fiery, I love it. Now, you did get the Hierophant in your challenge area, okay? So don't forget to have a little bit of clarity moving forward. There could be like some areas may feel like you're you're not really getting the lesson or you're really not getting that wisdom that you need. Uh, you may need a role model. Look up, uh, uh, don't hesitate. Remember, again, do not hesitate to reach out to people, all right? Um, and for some areas, you may feel like you are not being that role model you need to be. This is all about passing that wisdom. And with that wisdom passing, you need a little bit of structure. You need a little bit of tradition. I mean, the Hierophant really is the male equivalent of the high priestess, right? He was the high priest, and people call him the Pope. This is very spiritual energy, too. So if you feel like you're in a rut, if you feel like there's so much going on, breathe, take a moment, tap into that higher source that you believe in, whether it's God, whether it's the universe, whether it's yourself, tap into it. I don't know why I clapped. I do that sometimes. Now, listen, some Aries are making a decision this week, okay? And the energy that I'm getting is that it's a decision you don't really want to make, okay? But listen, trust your intuition, okay? Trust your intuition and go for it because you do not want this hanging over your head. You want to take off that blindfold. You want to trust your intuition. And sometimes it might not even be a decision. Uh, you know, sometimes this also represents a suicide. It's like two situations that you're dealing with right now, okay? And you may have to figure out the best way to balance them, all right? Whether it's two lovers, two job offers, two houses that you're looking at that you want to buy, two different dogs that you want to get, whatever it is. There's something happening there, but you may have to make a decision soon. Now, at the at the end of the day, listen, you've worked really hard, Aries. We all know how hard you have worked. I know how hard you have worked the past few months, okay? Things have been crazy. I want you to know all of that's coming to the end. You can see this guy here, the Ten of Wands. He is literally breaking his back carrying these wands. So much burden, so much burnout, so much stress. Can he move forward? Yes, he can. You know why? Because 10 is the end, all right? 10 is the end of the suit. So what does that mean? All that hard work, all that hard effort that you put forward into making your dreams manifest, all that hard work is going to be gone soon and you want it to, all right? Deep down inside, that's what you're looking for, okay? This is great, and I love the fact that you got the King of Swords, uh, especially for this week, okay? With everything going on, the King of Swords really is, you are moving into a position of more power. You are moving into, into a position of more authority, whether it's at work, whether it's in family, whether it's in a relationship, or whether it's just for yourself. You are going to sit on that throne. Now, I'm going to point one thing out with the King of Swords that not a lot of people do, Okay? He is looking directly at you, unlike the other kings who are looking sideways. This king has absolutely nothing to hide. This is all about truth. This is tr serving truth. This is true authority here. That's you, Aries. That's where you're going. We're really happy about that. I love that for you, okay, Aries? Keep trucking, trucking, trucking. Remember the theme of the week. Don't hold back. Move forward. Now, Mercury retrograde may cause some delays and it may cause some frustrations but listen it shouldn't hold you back from growing personally i'm doing a lot of like hand gestures today i don't know why maybe it's because i'm wearing green i'm not sure anyway i'm gonna move on to your staff now all right now aries like again again if you like this reading it would be great if you like and subscribe it really helps me out Woo! this is wow 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 you see, you got the three of wands, you got the two of wands, okay? There's so much happening here. Even though you are ready to move forward, you are secretly ready to move forward and things are going for you and you see this path and you see this journey, there is still something that's asking you to hold on a bit, okay? 
and it relates to this this decision. You see the two; they're both twos here, okay? And this is one foot in. Oh, sorry. This is one foot in the door, one foot out the door. All right, and that is really crazy because this decision that you're wearing on or this two sit two situations or decision or two challenges, whatever it is, it is something that you really need to spend some time with, all right? And listen, if you are an Aries sun or rising that is not in that position, something could come up this week. Again, I want you to remember Mercury is retrograde, so there may be some confusion around things, but it shouldn't confuse you in terms of the decision that you have to make. Now, in the end, you're ready to get past it anyway. You've got the Fool. Now, one thing I'm gonna point out about the Fool is that you can see here, all, all, oh, let me put it that way. Um, He's not even the number zero. It's a zero, okay? What does zero mean? It means zero literally means nothing. What is nothing? Nothing is everything. This is infinite possibilities. This is beginning your journey. Head held high. This is you taking that leap of faith. What did I tell you for this week? Don't hold back. Go, for, go forward. Go for it. Go big or go home, all right? That is this energy that you are bringing, and I love it. Another thing I'm going to point out, okay? The sun one of the most powerful symbols in tarot rarely shows up in any other card other than the sun card you got the full power of the sun full protection of the sun guiding you here how funny is it that we started this off with the five of pentacles in terms of help ending it with healing all right take some time to heal this week aries take and not even heal you know some aries that are going through like major maybe like um, it could be just, you know, burnout. It really could be. Just protect your mental health. I tell everyone that, especially during COVID. I would always say, listen, mental health is the most important thing. Prioritize your mental health. So this is all about healing. This is all about resting. This is all about recovering. So do some of that this week. As you make this decision, as you start growing into this financial abundance, as you, you know, all the hard work and energy, this is all coming to an end and you deserve it and you're going to heal. I love that for you. All right. Now, Aries, one other thing that I, that I meant to mention in the beginning of this reading is that another important astrological aspect that is happening this, uh, that happened actually, um, yes, what well, was yesterday, right? What day is it? May 16th. Well, I'm doing this reading before, but anyway, that is the Scorpio, Scorpio full moon. Um, we had a full moon Scorpio. I can't even say it. A, a full moon total lunar eclipse in Scorpio. That was yesterday, okay? You're going to feel that in your eighth house. And I, that's why I'm not surprised this is coming up. I'm not surprised all these twos are coming up. Twos are options and choices because that affects your eighth house of uh, joint partnerships, but it also affects money. I told you, this is a big money month for you. Uh, watch your monthly, okay? Watch your monthly May or uh, reading that I did for you. Oh my God, this month is all about money, but. Listen, the solar eclipse is in your house of eighth joint financial matters, bonuses, commissions, investments, all of that. There's going to be a lot of focus on that, okay? This week, that might pop up. Also, remember, uh, the eighth house also endings, all right? Scorpio full moon, or uh, Scorpio eclipse. Well, it is a full moon, but total, it's a lunar eclipse, and it's so full, and it's so emotional, and it's so deep, and it has so much depth that there may be some sort of ending, okay? So that could be the decision you have to make this week. You have to decide whether you want to end something and bring something else in. What do you want, Aries? Or Aries? What do you need to bring into your new life cycle? That is the question you should ask yourself, but don't beat yourself over up over it, because honestly, take some time to heal and you'll appreciate it okay i um absolutely love you aries i love you so much okay and i'm so excited for you there's so much you have so much good luck this year i can't even take it um so don't worry spend some time healing set spend some time resting and meditating and you're gonna have an absolutely amazing week um i will see you next week thanks for tuning in and i think that's it all right Thanks. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.